hello everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing absolutely well guys in this video we will be covering cognizant gen c aptitude plus technical assessment preparation strategy i was getting a lot of comments and dms on instagram that now our communication assessment is done please bring the aptitude and technical assessment preparation strategy because we don't have much time okay usually every time when gen c examination happens usually uh, like company keeps a bit of gap okay between the communication and the aptitude round but this time there is no gap like many of you are going to have it within one or two days itself so how can you prepare in the best possible way so that you can clear all the like questions okay because let me tell you aptitude and tech assessment is one of the toughest assessment when it comes to gen c like entire process okay after that uh, interview will not be that much tough and communication you might have already observed it was not tough if you have prepared well from my videos so without wasting any time let's get started with today's video but before that if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to the channel as i regularly post these kinds of helpful videos for all of you and i just want to let you know that i have already created a cognizant prep playlist on my channel in this i have already covered all the videos related to your different topics that comes in cognizant gen z examination make sure to check these videos as it is going to be very helpful for you in your preparation journey so let's now start with uh, today's strategy so first of all let's understand the pattern and breakdown for gen c examination so you might have already observed step one was registration you have done your registration you have completed the registration and based on that your resume are screened and you have got the emails for your next assessments which are communication assessment okay so you have now cleared your communication assessment also now you are set to appear for your next assessment which is going to be aptitude and technical and this is also going to be online assessment so guys in this video we will be taking care of minute details that you have to take care while giving aptitude and technical assessment because i know like uh, for sure this time also the same problems will happen because you know there are some fixed problem that happens every time in aptitude assessment okay uh, i'll tell you one or two in this video itself like you know your assessment will close in the between only you will be short of time i will tell you all that now itself so that you know you don't make mistakes in your aptitude assessment because i have seen a lot of candidates like prepare very well but because they don't know these kinds of small minute uh, things that are going to happen they don't they can't able to perform well in their exams okay okay so let's understand what is the step two basically step two is your aptitude and technical assessment the online assessment consists of two parts which is aptitude and technical and the duration of the examination is 80 minutes okay so when i say 80 minutes 80 minutes for your aptitude test okay because right now you are going to have your aptitude test first okay and don't consider that both are going to happen in the same round there will be different 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 uh, rounds for both okay next is your test is conducted online while proctoring so a stable internet connection you should have okay don't uh, like sit in a place where the internet is not like you know proper or is it slow okay let's see step three so once you clear all your rounds uh, you will be shortlisted for a technical interview okay candidates shortlisted based on their aptitude technical assessment assessment scores and also guys your communication assessment score will also be considered okay next is your shortlisted candidates will proceed to offline technical interviews final selection is for gen c gen c pro or gen c next roles so guys before your interview only you will get to know that you have short you have been shortlisted for which role okay for the interview so guys uh, i would highly say that prepare best because you see there is a lot of package gap in between the roles okay uh, so the better you prepare the more package you will get let's move further so see uh, aptitude assessment details now i will cover so see uh, first of all in your aptitude test you will have 30 minutes of quantitative aptitude okay so there are two things actually uh, apti that is quants apti or numerical that we say okay and the second is gamified okay which is also called as game based aptitude questions so you will have total of uh, uh, many questions okay so around 30 minutes you will get for your quantitative aptitude questions and then remaining you will have your uh, different questions for gamified aptitude now how gamified aptitude will come is you will have five to six main questions and in that you will have small small different questions and uh, when it comes to quantitative aptitude you will have around 30 questions okay on quantitative aptitude and guys let me tell you the uh, like you know level of quantitative aptitude is bit tough okay it is not easy very easy okay it's not very easy it is easy easy to medium so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to post actual questions videos on my channel make sure to check those videos and prepare because last time the exact same questions got repeated okay and you know the ones who practice from my videos like actually had the answers in their mind from the options so they don't even have to solve it because this was this has we have, this is already we have seen that in aptitude round questions get repeated in gen c examination so don't uh, like you know don't prepare too much okay because since you have very less time i will uh, post like a structured content on my channel so make sure to subscribe it and uh, please watch those 
and about gamified aptitude also there is a particular types of question that will come for that also i will post videos again in gamified aptitude you don't have to take it as a examination also because this is very in, like you know fun to solve so if you have already if you are aware and if you are pre prepared from my videos you will get to know that how to solve those questions then you won't even feel like those questions are actual exam questions those will be very fun to solve okay but yeah i will post uh, preparation videos on my channel make sure to check that okay now before we move on and discuss the technical assessment details guys i just want two things from all of you that if you are finding this video helpful please write helpful in the comment section because when you write that i get to know that how many of you are going to have your assessments so that i will post more videos according to that and structured content according to that okay and if you want next videos please write preparation video okay in the comment section okay let's understand the technical assessment details the technical section consists of programming concepts logical and analytical reasoning and coding problems so guys logical and analytical reasoning as such will not come okay i'll tell you what will come see you have clusters okay so if you have selected for any cluster uh, you will get uh, that cluster if you have not selected then by default is your cluster one which is your java based so in java based cluster you will have your java programming coding questions okay and then if you have selected cluster two you will have your python based coding question and if you have selected cluster three you will be going to have c sharp based coding questions and then this mid part is common in all the three clusters which is based on mysql and uh, database management system i will post mcqs based on this because uh, you know in mysql and dbms you will get questions based on your queries and mcqs i will post last year questions so that you can get practice from those next is your uh, in first uh, cluster you will have coding web ui uh, html css javascript based, co based question basically you will be having a question where you need to set up the ui and for that you have to write basic html css code okay again in the third cluster also we have the same thing but in cluster 2 if you select you will get mcqs based on cloud computing okay so i will post videos on that also uh, basically those mcqs are very simple it won't be that tough and if you are prepared well you can easily uh, answer those okay so i hope you have understood it so as such logical and analytical reasoning questions are not going to come but these types of questions will come which will test your logical reasoning okay based on technical perspective so i hope you have now understood the syllabus now let's move on and check the important guidelines and things you should be aware of first thing is your system requirements attempt the test only on the seb sab platform and then you have to install the latest version of the like you know uh, app or software before because you see don't consider that i already have it so no need to install make sure that you have it updated one and use a laptop or desktop with a working cap webcam because your webcam will be on during the assessment now some proctoring rules no external assistance is allowed do not let anyone sit aside you or beside you that is not allowed ensure a plain background is there behind you so that uh, you know you are you are captured easily and properly do not move away from the screen or look sideways guys i get a lot of questions okay that uh, can we use pen and paper in aptitude assessment so guys see officially it is a no but if you i also understand that you know you can't uh, directly solve all the aptitude questions that to seeing the level of uh, aptitude questions which is very tough so yes you can keep uh, pen and paper but see while solving don't move your body too much because see what's happening is when you are in camera uh, when the proctorians is happening your body is visible right so if you are moving too much then it will consider that okay you are trying to do some uh, like you know malpractice but see when you are having your paper just try to solve it directly right don't move a little bit is fine okay that is totally fine little bit is understandable but don't move too much and eyes and all you can like see on the paper that is fine but yeah as i told you don't move here and there totally uh, from your space okay next is your identity verification so keep your college id or if you don't have college id then government issued id like aadhar card ready with you because you might have to show it before the assessment so it will be verified at the beginning of the test as i mentioned moving on now some tips for success okay so see guys uh, like you know practice uh, aptitude question i will be posting videos on that get familiar with the game based aptitude questions i will post video on that too already i have told you that uh, there is uh, like you know playlist on that on my channel make sure to do that improve your programming skills okay refresh it if you have if you are not aware if you have already registered for one of the clusters like for example if you are registered for c sharp and you don't even know c sharp then practice video uh, practice that also i have already posted video again i will post on my channel so make sure in one shot video you can understand all the basic concepts of c sharp so then you will you can easily clear okay ensure that you are sitting in a like you know quiet space while giving your exam and complete the system check before uh, your exam so that you don't face any issues while giving the examination okay 
and uh, that's all for this video guys as i told you please try to write those two words which i already told you in the comment section with that i get to know that how many of you are going to have your uh, like you know examination so that i can post more content accordingly and if you have any doubts please feel free to post in the comment section i usually try to reply to 100 percent of the comments that i get on my videos make sure to subscribe to the channel because that is most important guys i have noticed that you know out of like 100 percent people who are watching my videos only six percent of them have subscribed to the channel so guys you can understand like i'm posting a lot of helpful content but uh and you are even getting help uh, like you know benefited i get a lot of replies after the examination that sir your videos were very helpful many questions were repeated and the pattern of the questions were also exactly same but guys after doing so much you have not you are not even subscribing to the channel so you know uh, it will be very helpful if you subscribe that's it that's all i want to say and that's all for today's video thanks for watching the video and i will start posting preparation videos soon